Hi students, welcome to Justin NCRT Solutions. In this video, we are going to see 7 standard maths chapter 2 exercise 2.6 fifth question. Here we are going to multiply a decimal number by another decimal number. Totally 10 sums are there, we will solve one by one. The first sum 2.5 into 0 0.3 is equal to. First, we have to multiply the numbers as it is. 5 threes are 15, remaining 1, 3 twos are 6, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And now we have to consider the total number of decimal points. Here we have two decimal digits are there. Here one decimal digit and here one decimal. So totally two decimal digit is there. So from right hand side we have to calculate two decimal. 1, 2. So 0 0.75. According to the number of decimal places, we have to make number of decimal digits in the answer also. Next, second question, 0 0.1 into 51.7 is equal to, forget about the decimal point, just multiply with 1, 1 into 51.7, 500 and 17 into 1 is equal to 517 and now we have to consider the number of decimal digits here we have 1 2 two decimal digits are there so from right hand side 1 2 two decimal digits so the answer is 5.17 and now third question 0.2 into 316.8 is equal to we have to multiply with the number 2. 8 2s are, 8 2s are 16. Remaining 1. Uh, 2 6 are 12. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Remaining 1. 2 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 3 2s are 6. So, 6336 is coming. Now, we have 2 decimal digits. 1, 2. So, from right hand side, two digits, we have to move left hand side, 1, 2. So, 63.36 is answer for third question. And fourth question, 1.3 into 3.1 is equal to, we have to multiply 13 into 31, we will multiply 13 into 31. 1 3 is 3, 1 1 is 1, 3 3 is 9, 3 1 is 3. So the answer now 3, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, remaining 1, so 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So we are getting answer 403. And here we have two decimal points are there. So from right hand side, two decimal points 1, 2. So the answer is 4.03. Now, fifth question 0 0.5 into 0 0.05 is equal to remaining everything is 0, so we are going to multiply only the numbers. 5 5s five, are 25. 5 5s are 25. And here we have decimal digits 1, 2, 3. Totally we need 3 decimal points. So from, from uh, right hand side 1, 2. So we are going to add another one zero. So the answer is 0 0.025. We need 3 decimal point for points. So now 1, 2, 3 decimal point is coming. 0 0.025 is answer for 5th question. And now. 6th question, 11.2 into 0 0.15 and this number we are going to multiply 112, 15, we forget about the decimal parts, now we are multiplying the numbers, <coughs> 5 2s are 10, remaining 1, 5 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, 5 1 is 5. And now when we are multiplying with the 2, 2, 1, 
1. So the answer is 0, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, 1. 1680 is coming. 1680. And now we have totally 3 decimal points. 1, 2, 3. 3 decimal places is there. So from right hand side we have to move 3 decimal points. 1, 2, 3. So now 0 is cancelled. The answer is 1.68. And now we are going to see that seventh question. Seventh question is equal to one point zero seven into zero point zero two is equal to here we have only two is in this place, so no problem, just to multiply with this number. Seven twos are fourteen, remaining one. 2 into 0 is equal to 0 and we have already 1 so that one we have written here 1 2 is 2 and now we have to see that total number of zeros uh, total number of decimal parts 1 2 3 4 totally we need 4 decimal parts but here we have only 3 number is there so we will add another one 0 now we will cal calculate 1 2 3 4 so the answer is 0 0.0214 is answer for 7th question. Now 8th question 10.05 into 1.05 We have to multiply 1005 multiplied by 105. 5 fives are 25. Remaining to 0 is there. So when we are multiplying with the 0, we will get 0. And a remainder is there. Carry over. So that too we have written here. 5 into 0 is equal to 0. 5 1 is 5. And now 0, 0, no problem. 0, 0, 0. Here on 0. Now 1 5 is. 5, 0, 0, 1, 1 is 1. So the answer is 1, 5, 2, 5, 5, 0, 1. So now the answer is 1. Now we have to check the total number of decimal places 1 2 3 4 4 decimal places is there so from right hand side we have to move 4 steps left hand side 1 2 3 4 4 digits so the answer is 10.5525 is answer for 8th question and now 9th question Hundred and one point zero one into zero point zero one is equal to we have to multiply with one. When we are multiplying by one, we will get same answer. Now we have to consider the total number of zeros. One, two, three, four digits. So totally we need 4 decimal parts. So now we are going to move 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer is 1.0101 1 is answer for 9th question. And 10th question 100.01 into 1.1. So when we are multiplying, we will get the same answer. We will multiply here by 11. We have to multiply. Same answer 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And now when we are multiplying with this one, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 
so we are getting answer 110011 now we have to consider the total number of decimal places 1 2 3 so totally we need 3 decimal places so from right hand side we are going to calculate 1 2 3 so the answer is 110.011 is answer for 10th question so that's all students kindly give your suggestions in the comments box and share share it with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you